Louisiana rapper Boosie is set to perform this Sunday in Shreveport. However, yesterday he was arrested by federal agents. Now thousands are preparing to attend the festival and they have questions on refunds or replacement uh, artists. Tonight we're getting answers. KSLA News 12's Jasmine Franklin reports. Thousands plan on attending the Let the Good Times Roll Festival in downtown Shreveport this weekend. However, one of the festival's headline performers was arrested. We're in constant talk with his camp and we're working to get this issue uh, resolved. Torrance Hatch, better known as Louisiana rapper Lil Boosie, was taken into custody Wednesday by federal agents. We've been in talk since last night and we're preparing to have a great festival regardless of Boosie's attendance or not, but they have assured us that they are working fast to get this matter resolved. Festival organizers say it's unclear if Boosie will still be able to perform. However, they are looking into adding additional artists to Sunday's lineup if he is not released before the show. We may add additional artists to that just to uh, ensure that everyone has a great time and enjoys the, uh, the weekend. We're not going to say if he's going to be here or not. We're going to say anything. We're actually working on it and we will have an answer for you very soon. Hundreds of people expressed their concerns on social media regarding the festival's refund policy. We got answers. The festival says there will be no refunds, even if Boosie is unable to perform. Amazing time and that you're not going to worry about a refund because I'm going to ensure that you will have an amazing weekend Friday, Saturday and Sunday, no matter who we bring. The Louisiana rapper took to social media yesterday saying, I want to take the time to apologize to my kids. I'm sorry and I love y'all forever. We'll keep you updated on any possible changes to the Let the Good Times Roll Festival. The festival kicks off Friday at Festival Plaza in downtown Shreveport. In Shreveport, Jasmine Franklin, KSLA News 12.